Hi, I'm outdoors writer David Figure, and today we're at Chittenango Falls State Park. We've joined a research team which are looking for and tagging Chittenango ovate amber snails, which are an endangered species. And by the way, there's only about 200 left in the entire world. They call me the snail whisperer. So this is our fourth survey of six and we are going to go search for the Chittenango Obi Amber Snail. This is the only place in the entire world that they're found and it's a really interesting, unique local species that I think from upstate New York it's really it's kind of a joy to have something like this in New York. Um, you're going to search the ground, plant your feet on only rocks because we don't want our feet in the leaf litter Snails are oftentimes in the leaf litter or the soil, so you don't want to be stepping on anything but rocks. Make sure you have your balance before um, you start and give a go ahead that it's okay to start the timing of the survey. You'll survey for five minutes in each section. So currently there's estimated less than 200 snails out in the wild. Most important thing is don't step on the snails. <laughs> So we'll take them up, they get assessed, measured, if they're large enough they'll get tagged, and then we determine if they're species B or coas, and if they're species B we'll release them, but we'll release them further down the trail, and if they're coas they'll get released back into their habitat. This is the special SUNY ESF lab where researcher Cody Gilbertson raises these snails from eggs for later stocking at Chittenango Falls State Park. We figured out how to feed the snails and that is mostly off of dead leaves and once we figured out what the snail liked to eat then basically the rest was kind of history. So once we um, got reproduction we have egg masses and about a month of rearing an egg mass um, they turn into hatchlings and then we take these tiny little paint brushes and move the hatchling snails over to new food sources and eight months later they turn into adults. Why should anybody care about these little guys? They're only about as big as your fingernail and there's not that many of them anyway, so why should we care? There are actually a lot of snail species that have gone extinct and also we're losing many of these species. So from a conservation standpoint, what we do with this snail, what we learn, um, can be applied to other conservation projects. Our end goal is to delist the species from the, the Fish and Wildlife Service um, listing, but right now we're just trying to augment the population in the wild, and we're also providing two backup populations for the captive work, so if, if something happens in the wild population, we at least have a couple of backup populations to support them.